Dear travellers and welcome. Today I'll be telling you about the Olympus OMD EM5. How much will I be telling you? How much won't I be telling you, I say, and it's a lot. So let's get started. The Olympus OMD EM5 was released in circa 2012 and is or was aesthetically designed to tip its hat to the old Olympus OM film cameras. I will say that it looks nice and to this day it still has a classic timeless look to it. In its day, the OMD EM5 was a big deal, loaded with a flippy screen, dual top mount dials, 16 megapixel micro 4.3 third sensor, touchscreen, weather sealed, EVF, 9 frames per second, and possibly the best feature is the 5 axis image stabilization. What's not to love? Well, we'll get to that a bit later. But honestly, this thing is packed with features and it's dropped its price on the second hand market dramatically, so you can get one for next to nothing. So I thought I'd give it a go in 2021. Keep in mind, I had the Olympus Digital 14mm to 44mm f3.5 to 5.6, a fully plastic lens with a truly horrible extended barrel locking function. The image quality isn't too bad, but the locking functionality is in my opinion horrific, and it has a plastic mount on it. Yuck! There is some seriously expensive Olympus Pro Glass available for this camera, and it covers all bases, stylish metal construction, and high quality M Zoico glass. So please keep in mind that if you're wanting to get better shooting experience and better images, then the glass is available for this camera. The autofocus is good enough, the touchscreen does what it says, and the dual function wheels are great. As I mentioned, the standout features is the 5 axis image stabilization. It works fantastic and it enables you to handhold shots at amazingly low shutter speeds. Also, it makes for a great camera for video due to its in-body stabilization. Image quality. The Micro Four Thirds has always had to prove itself against the bigger APS-C and full-frame cameras. And if it was a car, it would be a Frankenstein Honda EG Civic with a B18 swap. So let's have a look at some quick snaps I got with this camera. Personally, I think this camera is plenty sharp and has more than enough detail and resolution. So don't let the sensor throw you off. Yeah, it might need a little extra light than other sensors, but that's where the image stabilization comes into it. You can easily shoot at a 60th of a second handheld. And like I said, there's Pro Glass. That's plenty fast at f1.2. So is it worth considering in 2021? Yeah, it definitely has potential to be a solid camera that will work in any condition and provide high quality images. But it's not perfect for my needs and personal taste. If you're an Olympus fanboy, you might want to block your ears. What I didn't like about this camera, and ultimately what made me move it on within weeks of owning it, was the following. Poor ergodynamics in the hand. It has a poor feel in the hand. I really didn't like the way this camera feels in the hand. It's too small to get a good hold on it, but it's too big to be pocketable. And I've had the Pentax Q that's half its size, and in my opinion, is way more comfortable. The overall feel of this camera is very techy. It doesn't feel like a mechanical camera. To me, it gives a bit of a beginner's camera vibe. The EVF isn't great. As I mentioned, the lens is not for me. Also, once it's fully extended, it's longer than my full frame cameras. But again, the lens could always be changed, so no biggie. So that's about it guys. This experience has really made me appreciate the importance of having a camera that's comfortable to you and excites you to pick it up because that will ultimately give you better results. Well, until next time guys, please consider subscribing and leave a comment. I will catch you on the next one. Also, quick shout out guys, we did it. We got to 100 subscribers. I wanna thank every one of you little gems. You're all a bunch of little gems. Thank you so much for, for jumping on board, supporting me through this journey. And to those guys that were with me from day one, thank you so much. Also, big shout out to my wife for giving me the time to be able to film these things. Um, it takes a lot of time. If you guys have never made a video before, it takes heaps of time. Till next time, guys. Keep taking shots. Keep doing what you do. Catch you on the next one. Three third sensor, sixteen megapixel, sixteen mega, sixteen megapixels, <laughs> sixteen megapixel micro four third sensor, micro four third sensor, sixteen megapixels.